picture this. It's your first time in Thailand. You have met a nice, beautiful Thai girl, and you start to think that you're ready for a relationship. But in the back of your mind, you're thinking, well, I've been in relationships in America. I know what I'm getting myself into. You would be dead wrong. How's it going today, guys? Welcome back to the multi-million dollar studio and welcome back to another video. And today's topic is one I'm sure all of you lover boys have considered and that has to do with dating in Thailand. Now, of course, Thailand is very different than America when it comes to a lot of things. And it goes without saying, that includes dating. In today's video, I am going over the main differences that you can expect to experience on your first Thai dating adventure. So make sure you stick it out for the entire video so you can know everything there is to know about you and your new Thai girlfriend. Wife, maybe? Okay, so we are gonna speed run this a little bit because if I went into detail on every single one of these points, we would be here all day and I'm sure you don't wanna look at my face for that long, or maybe you do. But number one, our first thing that you can expect to be much different is the family dynamic, especially if you are planning on marrying this girl that you've just met. Now in America, we like to say that you don't just marry the girl, you marry her family as well. And while that is true in Thailand, let's just say that the family can be a little bit more extended. Thai people in general, their loyalty to their parents, for lack of a better term, pretty much goes for their entire life. So if you are planning something serious, like we said, especially if you're getting married, you can expect to have a very close relationship with that girl's family. And it doesn't just have to be getting married if you have a long-term girlfriend or boyfriend, whatever your thing is. Expect to spend a ton of time with the in-laws. A major difference with most Thai girls, especially when you're comparing them to American girls, is most Thai girls, not all, still kind of lean into the traditional gender roles when it comes to relationships. So if you're the we do everything 50-50 type of guy, especially when it comes to finances, this might be a lot more difficult to find in Thailand. But I know there's quite a few of you that are still interested in the traditional roles when it comes to boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, you want to be able to provide that security for you and your future family. So if that's the case, you're in luck. But if you are a guy that's looking to split the rent and all the dinners, that is probably going to be much harder to find in Thailand. <laughs> okay, so our next one is a big one. I have experienced this firsthand as well as all my friends that have Thai girlfriends. And it really just has to do with communication. Now, probably not in the sense that you're thinking, we'll get to that later. But if you think American girls are notorious for saying things without saying and saying one thing and it means something else, but unless it's like this and then it means that, but you have to know that it doesn't mean that because I said it at this time when it was this type of moon, but that time of year and I had fish for breakfast. If you think you have to know how to navigate that in America, just wait until you get to Thailand. In general, most Thai people aren't quite as direct as we might be used to as Americans. A lot of the times we just say how we feel, there's nothing to unpack. So on your journey to find your Thai girlfriend, I would start practicing right now how good your mind reading is. Of course in Thailand, just like America, not everybody you meet is super religious. Some people are more devout than others. Now Buddhism, whether you wanna call it a religion, belief system, whatever, in general, it's just much more ingrained in Thai culture, so it's not out of the ordinary to meet people who might not consider themselves religious, but the way they do a lot of things just has to do with Buddhist beliefs. So if you get yourself a Thai girl, just be ready that there will probably be some temple trips, even if it's not your thing. If you do end up making it back to her hometown to meet the family and you're out and about and you don't decide to donate to the monks, just expect that you're probably gonna get some dirty looks. So if religion isn't your thing, that is something you are more than likely gonna have to get used to. Now, one thing most of you have probably thought of, but you might not really understand the gravity of it, has to do with language and cultural barriers in general. Now, if you think that you are gonna meet a girl that doesn't speak English and you don't speak Thai and you're just gonna be able to hit it off, you're just gonna be able to use Google Translate for everything, you are sadly mistaken. You're gonna have trouble connecting, you're gonna have trouble with that pointless banter that you really have to do to get to know somebody. Miscommunication is gonna end up being a huge issue and don't even get me started with how bad you're gonna get whooped when your Thai girlfriend is mad at you. She's telling you, you don't understand, 
so you're just standing there smiling like a goon. One thing that's for sure gonna be different and it might go against some of the teachings that some of your American ex-girlfriends or wives might have put in your brain. When it comes to American girls in general, they wanna be shown off. When you're out and about with them, they want you to let everybody know all around you guys that this is your girl, you love her. In Thailand, not only is PDA relatively frowned upon and it's just super rare, hugging and kissing in public to Thai people is just kind of weird even if you're married. It's just not something that they really do, especially in America when we're meeting up with a girl, going in for the hug to say hi is totally normal. In Thailand, nobody's gonna rip your head off for it, but it's just kind of weird. And in the same boat as that, Thais in general are very conscious of their image to their peers. So whether it be her family, friends, whatever it may be, neighbors even, if she's from a small town, one thing you're gonna have to get used to is your Thai girlfriend more than likely is gonna be very conscious of what everybody else around you thinks. So if you're out with her friends, family, whatever it is, and you are making an ass of yourself, it's gonna be super embarrassing for her, and then that's gonna lead us back to her yelling at you in Thai when you don't understand it, which is probably a good way to get punched in the face. Coming from America, your first time dating a Thai girl is gonna be a lot different than you're used to, but if you just lean into it, and rule number one of dating is not trying to change anybody, so don't try to get her to act like an American girl. Hopefully she doesn't try to change you too much either. Congratulations, you are a little bit smarter because you know what to expect with your first Thai girlfriend. Stay safe, have fun, don't get with the wrong girls, you know who I'm talking about. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Thank you.